let us now analyze a sprayer system in which we have a converging diverging section and the throat of this particular apparatus is connected via a tube to a tank now when there is a flow of air through the section there is a low pressure at the throat which causes a rise of the fluid so fluid as there is a lower pressure over here the fluid rises from the tank and when it reaches this section there is atomization of the drop because of the shearing action of the flow and there is a spray in this particular section so this is a very simplistic view of a spraying apparatus so now the question is what is the value of the exit velocity that causes this spray so the diameter over here is given to be d2 the diameter over here is given as d1 now we can apply bernoulli theorem across a streamline connecting sections 1 and 2 so we can write p1 plus half rho v1 square plus rho g z1 is equal to p2 plus half rho v2 square plus rho g z2 now given that the two locations are at the same altitude this particular set of terms they cancel out and point number two is discharging to the atmosphere therefore p2 is going to be p atmosphere so we have p1 plus half rho v1 square is equal to p atmosphere plus half rho v2 square by means of continuity equation we can relate the velocity and the area over this section and the velocity and area over at this section therefore v1 d1 square is equal to v2 d2 square where i am obviously cancelling out the common factor for a circular cross section that is pi by 4 from both sides and thus um, we can write p1 minus p atmosphere is equal to half rho v2 square minus half rho v1 square and this is half rho v2 square common 1 minus v1 square upon v2 square and this is equal to half rho v2 square 1 minus now from this we have v1 upon v2 is d2 square upon d1 square so this becomes d2 raised to 4 upon d1 raised to 4 now the spray will commence when liquid reaches all the way over here so using the principles of hydrostatics we can write down the pressure as p1 plus rho g so if this height is equal to h is equal to p atmosphere this we can write down by means of the hydrostatics hydrostatics equation therefore p1 minus p atm is equal to minus rho g h therefore minus rho g h is equal to half rho v2 square 1 minus d2 raised to 4 upon d1 raised to 4 rho cancels out from both sides therefore we have 2 g h upon d2 raised to 4 upon d1 raised to 4 minus 1 and square root of this entire thing is equal to v2 thus we have an expression for the velocity at exit which will just cause spray and this expression is in terms of the distance of the level of water in the tank from the level of the throat and the ratio of the diameters in practice the velocity required at exit will be slightly larger than this particular value because of the fact that there may be losses over this filling process and we'll see in later examples how this loss can be empirically corrected by means of various coefficients